Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another one of those comedy shorts that I like to call a beer review. Uh, in this one we are heading off to Tiny Rebel now and we are taking a look at another one of their Return to Ale series. And this one is their extra special bitter. It's coming in at 5.8% in a 440ml can. Uh, the four pack that I got was £11.20. I think it comes in at about £2.82.5 uh, for this beer. It's, you know, it's got that kind of traditional kind of look about it, but with a tiny rebel twist. Uh, on the back, it says the extra special bitter is an old traditional style ale that's favoured by our co-founder Gaz. Still to this day, he'll choose this style flavoured with Admiral and Pilgrim hops over any IPA. The malts in this beer are Chevalier Chateau Arome. Yeah, Chateau Arome. Uh, the hops are Admiral and Pilgrim, and it's the tiny rebel house yeast that they're using. So, tiny rebel glass is out. I know a bitter. I know all these bitters that I do. I always put. In the old favourite dimple glass, that wasn't me farting, that was the chair creaking by the way. Uh, I know I always put them in there, but on this occasion, because I have this pint glass, I am going to put the beer in there. So let's stop waffling on, get this cracked open, get it in a glass and see what we get. 5.8% if I didn't say, but I'm certain I did. So, football's over. Sheffield United have come away with a win, which I am glad to glad to see. Wow, this seems really dark. This seems an ESB this dark. That's looking more like a porter or a stout. Have they got the right beer in this bloody thing? ESB, extra special bitter, 5.8%. Look, it's not just me. Read the label. That looks more like a stout or a porter. Uh, so in a glass, on the screen it's looking jet black. There is a little bit of light bleed through there, but that's a real, real, real dark chestnut. It's almost black in color. Uh, we've got a tan head, which is again, not something I'd expect from a bitter. Uh, it's a compact sort of foamy head but it does look good, if a little bit different. So, let's dive in on Tiny Rebels Bitter. Uh, see what we get on the nose. That's, never, that's not a fucking bitter. I think they've had a fuck up on this. We're on a mission to bring you good times with a hint of beer. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, we do this by creating bands that will captain you. That's not a fucking bitter. There's been a fuck up. There must be. There's been a fuck up. Do you know what? I'm going to pause the video uh, and take a picture and ask them if there's been a fuck up. Because surely there's got to have been a fuck up. So bear with me for two seconds. We're back. I've taken it. It doesn't even smell like a bitter doesn't even smell like a bitter. Right. <laughs> it's roasted roasted malts. It smells like a stout or porter. There's no way that's a bitter. There's been a fuck up in the can and there's got to have been. Roasted malts, coffee. A bit hoppy as well. Let's dive in, give it a taste. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. That's not a fucking bitter. Short, extra special bitter. They got the wrong beer in here. They must have. They must have. Mm. 
Don't get me wrong, it's a lovely beer. But it's smoky, it's got a smoky feel to it, it's got an ash kind of feel to it. I can't help but think their cream stout has been put in that ESB can. There's got to have been a fuck up. I'm, do you know what? It's going to be interesting when I actually do the cream stout. Because if the cream stout looks like a bitter, there's been a major fuck up. I don't know. Oh dear. I've got to go on with the review. I've got to crack on with this, and I right. You've seen it. I've smelt it. I've told you it smells nothing like it. It does have a bitter feel in the background. Don't get me wrong. Oh, I can't carry on with this. Fuck it. Tiny Rebel, if you happen to see this video, I'm going to send you pictures anyway. If that's an ESB, you fucking lost me. You really have. That's not an ESB, is it? Surely not. I don't know. We're not going to find out until I do the cream stout, I guess. But uh, apologies for the fuck up of this video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you again soon on another one. Cheers. <laughs>